know, actually, the biggest shock was I haven't found a shock. I mean, the biggest shock is I love it. I mean, it's like, you know, I expected it to be, yes, I, I made lots of mistakes. And I look back over the last three years and think, God, why didn't I, why didn't I know what I know now back then? Why was I so stupid in a way? But the biggest shock is actually it's been a little bit of a breeze in terms of not a breeze in terms of building a successful product, but it's, it's remarkably easy to be an entrepreneur. You need to have an idea and the world is changing so much that there are so many things to fix in the world or so many different permutations. My whole experience had been in financial services. So the idea that I had related to financial services but you've got to have an idea, and I think there's, you know, there's, there's, there's so many potential ideas, so many potentially disruptive ideas in the world. So I think that's, that's easy. You've got to have technology because most of entrepreneurship involves technology in some shape or form, and technology is cheaper than it's ever been. It's become a commodity, you know, with the cloud and mobile um, computing in a sense, and all of the open source technology that exists. Technology is a commodity. There are lots of ideas. And by the way, we're, we're giving away money. So, and some of that money is sloshing around and trying to find ideas. There's more money in the world than there are good ideas. And actually, you know, we've been, I've been going around and chatting to a lot of students at a lot of universities. And what I tell them is that there is no better time. There's never been a better time to be an entrepreneur. And when they think about what they should be doing, I think every single person should start, should try at least to start in an entrepreneurial environment, either to set up their own business or to go and work for a startup. Because what they will learn by doing that is going to be so much more valuable, I think, than going and doing an MBA or working for an established business. And I think by having that experience, Either people will succeed and then they don't need to worry about anything else, or they will be so much more qualified by having had that entrepreneurial experience that they become much more valuable to a, a more established employer. So I think it's an amazing time to be an entrepreneur, and I'd encourage everyone to do it.